So I've just received this phishing link and I thought, why not just show uh, some investigation work on this? I mean, I don't know much about it. We're going to see where the post request goes to and then create a Python script to flood their database full of fake information to hopefully prevent someone genuine from being compromised because they won't be able to see their genuine details amongst all the fake information. Now, disclaimer, I'm no Python expert, so I thought, you know what, this is a good project for people to contribute to. I've called it the fish killer or fish killer. And, you know, if you're very good at Python, much better than me, I'm no expert. Um, so obviously you can contribute to the script, make it better, and we can go from there. But the first thing I'm going to do is, you know, I've got Burp Suite open. I'm going to intercept the post request to see exactly where this data goes. This data isn't being submitted directly to their um their database because uh, Burp Suite will hold it. And you can see here straight away we've got that post request, and it goes to a directory ex uh, or oh, sorry Excel and then ecc2.php, and the host is haqueegrp.com. I really apologize if that's too small to see. It's, it is it is for me, but um, the most important thing here is that the host is captured and the post request location. We can see the form data as well. So their email address is A equals, and then the password is AZ. So that's really important as that's the form data, and we need to import that as the data for the array in the Python script. And I think that's pretty much it. You can also view all of this post data in the developer's tools, but I thought, you know what, Burp Suite, you know, if you're studying pen testing, ethical hacking, stuff like that, you'll use Burp Suite quite a lot. And um, it's really simple. You turn intercept on, intercept the post request, and you can see all the data. Now let's create this Python script because we've got exactly where it goes to. I might actually visit that URL. Um, might err on the side of caution for now, but Let's create this Python script. So I'm going to import requests. And then I'm going to uh, obviously set the URL variable. So this URL is haqueegrp.com. Let me just copy from Burp Suite directly. And uh, there we go. So this is the actual fish, um, or this is the PHP file that processes from the phishing page. So as you can see, the domain is different, but that's obviously because the form will send the data off somewhere else. Um, so we've got the URL in. Then we need our data array. So this data array will contain, you know, what we want to submit as fake information. Now their form data was A for the email, so that's what we need to include here. So it's A, and then we can just type anything here, really. So at uh <laughs> A nice little message for them um, and then we'll do the same for the password so the password can be I'll just submit anything so pillar moon there we go <laughs> I don't know if that, that's not one of my passwords so <laughs> don't try and log into my account because you're not going to get in with that <laughs> um, so let's just make sure this goes right so we've got the URL in we've got the, the data array with the email that we're going to submit multiple times that looks good and then i'm going to create a while loop so while flag i'll call it flag uh basically this while flag we need to set a boolean variable called flag to true make sure it's a capital t and then response equals uh res requests dot post so we want to make a request of a post the url so we're posting to the url and then the data itself then we just need to print the response And the status code so it's it's basically the status code is like a 200 if successful now i just want to run this uh, really quickly to see if there's any uh, syntax errors so we're getting 200s so that's submitting all the data the same data all the time so <laughs> there we go there's 20 entries already into the the <laughs> the uh the owner's uh, database so all they'll see now is fu at fu.com and pillar moon as the password. Um, I'm going to stop that now. So uh, I'll leave that running. Why not? Um, like I said, the Python script will be in the description below. If you want to con contribute to it and you know how to you know create it a bit better. So I think what should happen is the email address and the password should change each time and look more realistic. So then the, the owner of the fish... Um, or the threat actor doesn't have a clue what is 
like what is genuine and what isn't and has to start all over again um either that will wipe the database and then obviously all the genuine people in it um their data's wiped so you know there's there's good in in the world and also bad but hopefully the good beats the bad so <laughs> i'll see you all in the next video